Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can edit the symbol in the in the family. So we are going to edit the annotation in it. So what you're going to do is to click on it and then you will go to edit the family up here. Click on that one. Yep. And then we have this 3D view of it. And then if you select everything to like uh, we go down here and filter everything out and then we will look for the annotation it's not here in this case so we just cancel out of that and we might go to the reference level up here uh, you see in this case I, I, I find the the symbol here but if you cannot find it in your type of family you can just um, select everything go down here to the filter option whoops like that and then you will look for the generic annotation and you see it's right here so if we check everybody off we can select that one generic annotation and click ok and what you're gonna do now is to edit this annotation so um, select it and then edit the family up here So you're going to zoom in and we have it right here. So I'll just make something random right now. So I am already in this create tab. So I'll just click on line and then I want to create a circle here. So, so I'm just going to create this and I will delete this line, for example. So this is my, this is my new annotation. I'll put it in the middle, in the center right here. So what are we going to do now when you have edited your symbol? You're going to load this annotation into the family we just saw before. So you want to go up here to load into project and then you will find the family here. Click OK. And now it will ask you if you will override the existing version. Um, before you do that, you have to make sure that you are overriding a copy, for example. So um, in my case, I already have a copy of the family. So I'll just override this now. So here we have it. And uh, now it's loaded into the family. So what we're going to do now is to load everything into the project. So let's go up here and click on that one. And we have this option here and we can see the project here. So just click OK on that one. Do you want to override the existing version? Yes, we want to do that. And boom, here you have the simple. So right now it's face based, so it, but it's not supposed to be like that. But it was just an example of how you can you can edit the 2D symbol in a family. So guys, that was it for now. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.